So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you an upgrade I'm doing to the flood coolant on my X7. So I have the carousel style tool changer, which uses, uh, which uses this manifold on the right hand side of the spindle to, uh, you know, put coolant on the tool and clean chips and whatnot. With the, with the carousel style, it slides over as you guys probably are aware. And so on the left hand side, you can't have any it can't have any nozzles. So if you have the arm style tool changer, you have a manifold that uh, goes all the way around the the um, spindle and, and uh, sprays coolant in four directions, right? They're all four corners of it. Um, real quick, so this, uh, you know, this works okay. For the most part, you know, there's enough coolant that comes out of blast the chips, even if you're cutting on the uh, left-hand side of a part. It's never a problem. However, when you put the fourth axis on and sometimes even um, you know other things that might be on the table if you got two vices or whatnot or even if you're trying to get closer to a part sometimes this interferes and I've never really cared for it um, you know for that aspect of it so what I'm doing is I'm replacing it with this manifold that completely clears the fourth axis surrounds the surrounds the spindle a little bit more and adds another nozzle. So if you're a member of the Facebook group, you'll see several guys have done something similar. So this isn't, uh, you know, some great invention that I come up with. I'm basically copying other people that have, you know, have already, uh, already made some, except for I incorporated my, what I wanted in it or what I liked of, you know, a couple of the different designs. So, you know, pretty simple nozzles that add, you get an extra nozzle, which is nice you know, flood coolant goes in here. And then I tapped it and added my air blast line. I don't really ever use the air blast for much of anything. You know, occasionally when you're videoing, you know, to make a video, it's it's nice to use that instead of flood coolant because obviously you can't see anything when the flood coolant is going. So, so this um, actually works pretty decent. The only thing with it is you have to have a check valve. The, the air blast line is open to the exhaust that's on the manifold on the right, on the left hand side of the machine. So if you turn the coolant on, it'll backflow and blow coolant out the uh, little muffler that's on the solenoid valve. So I incorporate a check valve, and this actually works pretty nice. Even if you just want to, I crank the pressure up. So if you just want to use air, like I said, for a video with it blowing, it works. It works pretty good, but it's it's. Um, it's nice at the end of a cycle, hit that air blast and you actually can add it to your program if you want to air blast for a couple of seconds and it completely cleans all the coolant out of here. So um, I'll put a link in the description to the CAD files for this. If you wanna make one or, or take this design and you have some of your own ideas, whatever you wanna do, they'll be in the, the link will be in the description. Use them however you'd like. I'll also put a link to the stuff that I had to buy on Amazon or, or where else I got some of the parts so you guys can, you know, check those out too. So um, let me get this back uh, set up back on the machine and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so you can see it's mounted up under the spindle or by the spindle. You can see in there. And I've got, and we'll go around to the front. I got the tool changer over so you can see the clearance on the front side. You can see how much compact you know how tight and compact it is and so this is the one-way check valve or one-way check ball for the air blast and then I ended up adding this uh, shut shutoff valve for the coolant I discovered that if you would run the air blast for a while like if you wanted to you know blast to make a video and be blasting on a tool it would start to siphon some coolant out of that hose and blow coolant then. So I ended up adding this, um, which required, you know, changing a contactor and stuff. And if you guys are interested in seeing that, you know, put something down in the description and I'll make a quick video showing how this is wired up and the changes that have to be done. So let me uh, move around to the front here and I'll show you how the clearance for the tool chain. All right, you can see how it clears. Clears the tool changer. And it's the same distance in the front and the back of that clamshell design that opens it up. So, and then I brought this over so you can see the difference. This would be mounted, 
you know, roughly in that same spot and would hang down. And you can certainly see how much more compact this is and how much more room you have if you have something else on the table. So there's another shot of it down by the tool changer. So let me, uh, let me get it all put back together and then we'll show you running it with the coolant on it. So give me a second here and I'll bring you back.